with Americans traveling for Memorial Day weekend. A staggering number of people are expected to be on the move after being stuck at home for more than a year during the pandemic. AAA estimates more than 37 million Americans are expected to travel 50 miles or more from home this weekend. That's up 60% from last year. A majority of people are expected to drive, and this comes as airlines see a surge in unruly passengers. One woman was banned from Southwest after she punched a flight attendant in the face. Laura Podesta is in New York. Laura, this is becoming a problem for more airlines. Good morning, Emory. It sure is. Airlines are seeing 25 times more reports of unruly behavior this year compared to years past. And most of the issues revolve around mask wearing, which is still required on planes. A startling video of an attack on a Southwest flight attendant earlier this week shows tensions in the skies are high. And they stop shoveling each other. And next time I saw, don't touch me, they start yelling. The lady stood up and pound. The flight attendant lost two teeth. Viviana Quinones was later arrested. Passengers say the attendant was arguing with someone about their mask while leaning over Quinones. Frustration from the first altercation was still brewing in all of them, including the flight attendant, no doubt. And so uh, it just escalated very, very fast. The FAA says there have been 2,500 reports of unruly behavior in 2021, most related to the federal mask mandate. Typically, there are 100 to 150 formal cases per year. Being called names, being treated hostily, um, having their lanyards pulled. Today is usually the busiest travel day of the Memorial Day weekend. AAA expects more than 34 million Americans to drive and two and a half million to fly. Not be able to go with really hardly any restrictions and be able to take my mom out is a blessing. Some are still getting used to the crowds. There are times where I am a little weary just because of the amount of people that are traveling. For those hitting the road, they'll feel a pinch in their wallet. The national average for a gallon of gas is $3.04, more than a dollar higher than last year. The average price of gas is the highest it's been in seven years, according to GasBuddy.com. And it's likely because oil companies cut production in 2020. So right now, demand is outpacing supply. Anne Marie. All right. Laura Podesta in New York. Laura, thank you so much. Thanks. Well, there are